The seemingly tranquil Pacific Ocean conceals a hidden force beneath its exterior, a powerful meteorological occurrence influencing global weather patterns known as El Niño. From overwhelming downpours triggering devastating floods in South America, to prolonged droughts sparking wildfires in Australia, El Niño is more than a tropical anomaly. It stands as a worldwide disruptor, and it is poised to take over the world in 2024. So, what causes this global phenomenon, and how dangerous is it? Let's find out! El Niño is a natural phenomenon that impacts oceanic waters, increasing their temperature beyond the typical average. El Niño is merely one stage within a broader climatic phenomenon known as the El Niño Southern Oscillation or ENSO. This cycle manifests in two alternative phases, one being La Niña, the complete antithesis of El Niño, and the other being a neutral state marked by the absence of any distinct influence from either of these phenomena. La Niña denotes a meteorological phenomenon resulting in the cooling of water. Typically, during La Niña events, water temperatures decrease by approximately 37 to 41 degrees Fahrenheit. The repercussions of this occurrence are significant for various countries worldwide, including the United States and Canada, leading to intense rainstorms, floods, and more robust hurricane seasons. In anticipation of these events, it is important to note that they occur at irregular intervals, usually every two to seven years, and they are not short-term phenomena. The El Niño phenomenon persists for approximately nine to 12 months, whereas La Niña tends to endure for a duration of one to three years. The development of El Niño and La Niña is quite unusual, under normal circumstances in the Pacific Ocean, winds move from areas of high pressure to low pressure zones, progressing from east to west. These winds channel warm water in the direction of their movement, bringing it closer to regions such as Asia and Australia. At the same time, cold water reaches the eastern shore of South America, leading to a beneficial impact on the yield of fish as a result of the nutrient saturation in the water. This phenomenon is referred to as upwelling. If this equilibrium is disrupted in any way, it triggers the onset of either El Niño or La Niña. In the course of El Niño, the winds lose strength, leading to a diminished impact of wind movement on warm water and a decrease in upwelling. As a result, the Pacific Ocean's water starts to warm uniformly in typically cold regions. This, in turn, results in alterations in rainfall patterns, bringing about significant weather fluctuations across the globe. In the tropics, there is a heightened risk of flooding, while western countries experience a higher occurrence of droughts. During La Niña, the winds become stronger, leading to increased upwelling and a reduction in warm water expanses within the ocean. Consequently, regions such as the western parts of the United States and the northern areas of South America may encounter a cooling effect, while the Indian Ocean might witness a warming trend. In the 20th century, 26 instances of El Niño were documented. South American nations like Peru and Ecuador bore the brunt of the impacts caused by El Niño events. The economic backbone of these countries relies heavily on the exportation of fish and fertilizers. The occurrence of El Niño results in a reduction in upwelling, causing extensive fish mortality, and heightened precipitation leads to the destruction of crops and fertilizers, as well as damage to civilian infrastructure. Meanwhile, eastern areas like Indonesia and Australia face the imminent threat of droughts. Water sources and agricultural yields dwindle, leading to adverse effects on the well-being and health of both human and animal populations, along with a decline in land fertility. Nations in East Africa, such as Kenya and Tanzania, contend with persistent rainfall, whereas south-central countries like Zambia and Mozambique grapple with the challenges of drought. Notably, the southern regions of the United States, particularly Texas, experience heightened precipitation during El Niño events. In California, this occurrence brings forth rainfall, positively impacting the yield of crops such as lime and avocado. Winters in Canada follow a milder trend. Intriguingly, El Niño also exerts influence on Antarctica. In its western region, a slight increase in temperature is observed. 
There is a rise in snowfall, but a reduction in upwelling leads to the melting of shelf glaciers. On the other hand, La Nina contributes to the growth of these glaciers, thereby preserving the balance. The most recent instances of El Niño and La Niña were observed in 2015 and 2016, and 2016 was marked the hottest year on record. The central region of the ocean reached its maximum warmth in November. The overall temperature rise was 35 degrees Fahrenheit, potentially setting a record value since 1860. The 2016 El Niño had a direct or indirect impact on all continents. Australia faced intense drought conditions, particularly in its eastern and northern regions. Consequently, the commencement of the fire season on the continent occurred prematurely, leading to a total of 125 fires. These fires caused significant harm to areas in Tasmania, including rainforests and swamplands that had seldom encountered fires in the past. The most severe coral bleaching occurred during this time frame, a phenomenon that leads to the whitening of corals, rendering them highly susceptible to mortality. The spring and fall seasons of 2016 in Australia were notably among the driest ever documented, significantly impacting the harvest. In Asia, 85% of the Philippines and Indonesia faced severe drought conditions. Extensive wildfires erupted in Indonesia, exacerbating air pollution in nearby regions such as Singapore, Malaysia, Thailand, and surrounding areas. These fires had a detrimental impact on palm oil exports, causing an increase in prices for the commodity and subsequently affecting the cost of all food products reliant on the oil. Moreover, there was a substantial decline in rice production in Vietnam and Thailand, primarily attributed to water scarcities. Then India curtailed its provisions of rice, sugar, cotton, and corn. The northern areas of China grappled with droughts, while the southern regions were impacted by excessive rainfall and floods. Across South America, various regions were adversely affected by weather-induced disasters. In 2016, Peru witnessed severe flooding and landslides, resulting in approximately 5,000 individuals losing their residences. Furthermore, an evacuation of 150,000 individuals was necessary from inundated regions in Paraguay, Brazil, Argentina, and others. Additionally, Argentina faced a significant infestation of locusts, exacerbating the agricultural challenges in the nation. In Colombia, droughts triggered famine, leading to approximately 2.3 million people requiring humanitarian assistance. The diverse repercussions of the El Niño phenomenon in Brazil resulted in a significant upswing in global coffee and sugar prices. But the United States and European nations experienced minimal direct consequences from El Niño. Regions such as Missouri, Mississippi, and the United Kingdom encountered above-average precipitation levels, yet this did not substantially impact their respective economies. Finally, the African continent also experienced economic repercussions due to this occurrence. South Africa witnessed a decline of 6 million tons in food production, while specific regions in Zimbabwe lost 75% of their harvest. Ethiopia faced a humanitarian crisis with 10 million people requiring aid, and approximately 458,000 children underwent treatment for acute malnutrition. The adverse weather conditions triggered disease outbreaks, particularly in Africa and South America. As a result of flooding in multiple South American nations, the transmission of the Zika virus gained momentum. In Africa, occurrences of cholera and Rift Valley fever surfaced in the eastern part of the continent, alongside documented cases of malaria. With all of these incidents, it is imperative not to underestimate the gravity of the threat posed by El Niño. Meteorological experts have already detected indicators of an impending El Niño phenomenon, expected to commence either in the latter part of summer 2023 or the early months of 2024. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, there is a high likelihood of establishing new global temperature records in the upcoming year. The heightened intensity can be attributed in part to the prolonged La Niña phase, spanning three years and concluding only in March. 
Consequently, a substantial amount of thermal energy has amassed in the ocean. This accumulated heat is poised for release, amplifying the impact of El Nino. Numerous predictions have already emerged regarding the anticipated El Nino. First, there's a chance that the sea temperature might rise to 35 degrees Fahrenheit. During its peak, temperatures may escalate even beyond the levels witnessed in 2015 and 2016. Secondly, following an extended period of La Nina, Australia has experienced significant precipitation. However, there is potential for a shift in weather patterns next year, given the continent's overall temperature surge of 34.5 degrees Fahrenheit since the early 20th century. This rise in temperature raises concerns about the possibility of an exceptionally hot year leading to early occurrences of wildfires. Next, there is a potential for a humanitarian crisis to reoccur in South America. There is a risk of the resurgence of significant diseases such as malaria, the Zika virus, and dengue fever. Furthermore, there is a possibility of the reappearance of brain disorders and miscarriages linked to abnormal heat. Then, the Amazon rainforest, along with rivers in Africa, India, and Australia, might face prolonged periods of severe drought, leading to diminished vegetation growth. This would result in a reduced capacity to absorb CO2 from the atmosphere. Access to food and potable water becomes more critical during El Nino, and this time is expected to be no exception. Countries and continents such as Australia, Brazil, Peru, and Africa which grappled with the profound climate changes in 2015 and 2016, may unfortunately face another intense food and economic crisis. The possibility of a significant decline in the export of agricultural, livestock, mining, and fuel products may indirectly impact the global economy. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration predicts a substantial reduction in the export of these items, with potential worldwide repercussions. A potential economic loss of around $3.4 trillion globally is expected over the next five years due to these occurrences. The upcoming year might pose significant challenges globally, but El Nino and La Nina are not expected to halt their influence. There is a potential for these phenomena to intensify and occur more frequently in the future. Specifically, these climatic events could disrupt the formation of tropical forests down the line. A key factor contributing to the escalating impact of El Nino and La Nina is the emission of greenhouse gases, which further increases temperatures. In the foreseeable future, we could witness high global temperatures becoming the standard and continuing to increase, posing an even greater threat to the world. The potential deterioration of the global weather situation serves as a warning to all of us. It underscores the importance of environmental governance, as only by caring for our surroundings can we shield ourselves from catastrophic consequences. What are your thoughts on the upcoming El Nino event? Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.